Yo, yo, yo. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another 80% No World 5 tournament match. Today we have Azord versus Skippy. It should be a very interesting match because these runners have very good times. I am Alien Shacks, also joined here with Justin from Fortnite. Hello. This match should be uh, starting very soon. Uh, here we go. It's the start. So, for the first couple levels here, they're not very entertaining. The so one one, they will be getting a prop, which there's actually two route in this uh, category. We have mini route, which is pretty much where you get a mushroom house in World Two, and you can get the mini mushroom, which is makes six six a lot faster. And you, you can also get a couple back backup props, but with prop route, you don't do that. And with six six, and also the rest of the um, game is also very difficult. It's not very difficult, but it makes it a little harder. So, Mushroom Route is definitely or not Mushroom Route. Mini Route is definitely easier for beginners. But I think both of these runners will be doing Prop Route. So, yes. They will also be getting a Star House in um, the Star House coming up to use in World 3 against the Ice Bros. Um, also, prop route saves around. I think it's about a minute. I think it's about around 50 seconds to a minute. Yeah. Uh, I'd say around 50 seconds, probably. That's why if you're going for 46, then prop route is definitely the answer. But if you're a beginner runner, definitely don't do prop route. Unless you really want to. Around 40 to 50 to a minute. That that's that's the rough estimate here. Um now they're going into 1-3. Still some casual levels, you know. So 1-3, there is some chance of RNG messing you up and possibly losing prop um by a hammer bro at the end of the level. There is a strat you can do to prevent that by grabbing a shell just in case, but I'm not sure if you can Yes. I don't think CP will go for it, but I don't know what is or it, it does lose a little bit of time. Yeah, but it's definitely worth it because if you lose prop, that's pretty bad. Unless, like, because well, it's not really that bad except for one tower. Like one tower without prop is really bad. Ooh, Skippy just barely grazing it. Oh my god, that was hazard so one for the safe trap that he didn't need. Hazard. That's the safe strat. Skippy literally frames off of the hammer, bro. That was very close. Yeah. Now we got some interesting levels come up. We got one tower. There's a vertical level. We also got Toad here. But luckily a Goomba will be taking him away very shortly. After grabbing the star, to use in World 3. Ooh, very interesting. 
So yes, you can get the task cycle, which is, I mean, it's not really a task cycle anymore, but it is so cycle. None of them get it because it is very difficult to do in runs. Skippy, you having a slight bit of little trouble. Bit of but he's okay. He is still cruising. Looks like Azor got a 560. And Skippy also getting a 560. So the Larry fight, um, they're not not too hard here. You just gotta jump on him. That's just kind of how it goes here. It's not really much to the fights here of the Koopalings. You kind of just gotta jump on him, and that's about it. Yeah, the fights are very easy. Well, some, some I mean, a couple of them can be difficult, like uh, Morton and Six Castle. Um, Skippy stopping his timer for a small second there. I guess he has muscle memory from splitting. Um, also, uh, I forgot to mention the Goomba on the right side of your screen here. Um, the, before the, uh, run start, the runners did something called cutscene minute, where pretty much you restart the cutscene of the game over and over again until he, uh, Fred is on the top left so you can avoid him when you are, um, going past 1-4 to 1-6. So, and it says around 20 seconds. So, that is why they do that. So one on four, you know, underwater level, pretty self-explanatory, you know, you just kind of swim and that's about it. It is faster to be out of the water, so the runners will try and be out of the water for as long as possible. Yes. And Justin's mic, Justin's mic is currently underwater, so that's pretty interesting. Fitting with the level, of course. Uh, cutscene in that cutscene minute is allowed. It takes a long time to do. So. You know, a lot of people do different stuff when they do runs. Pidgey does cutscene minute, um, which is the world record holder. If anybody doesn't know, um, Skippy does a um, a sound like, like something by sound to hear Fred, like when you get out of one two or something. Don't really know how that works. I think it's out of one one. But yeah, it's out of one one. I think. And then you can also tell by after 1-2 by how Mario's head shifts while you're waiting for the cutscene. Oh yeah. Yeah, so uh, Skippy does that, and then um, Pidgey, or some people like to call him Mr. Ego, um, he does cutscene it up. So, uh, so sometimes Fred can give you a couple extra movements here. So let's see if that happens. Is Zord getting a couple extra movements? Skippy getting none. Actually, is Zord not getting too many? But he does put him behind a little bit. So, 1 6, you know, there is possibility for mess ups because the Koopas and the Rolling Hills are in kind of weird spots. Ooh, Skippy Skippy getting Skippy one of the Skippy worst Skippy hitboxes Skippy. I've ever seen in my life. That hitbox was that is, atrocious. That is a new one. I've never seen that one before. I, I've never seen that hitbox before. That was interesting. He kind of just went right through the Koopa. Huh. Um, but yeah, that will put Azord at a, a big lead. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a backup in um, one castle, but I don't think he'll be going for that. So, Skippy might, um, grab, he might go, be going for mini route now. I'm not really too sure what he's gonna do. Or he might try to go for the one-in-one cast. So we'll see. That is really bad, though. I, the, I, I've never seen that, that hitbox. I've I mean, never that hitbox seen is bad, that hitbox ever. But, that was really bad. Like, he literally, like, that's like the hitbox in, like, Iggy in, in Five Castle. Like, that was really bad. Uh, Skippy's probably having a little bit of a panic right now to figure out what he's going to do next. He probably will be damage boosting through that. Oh, never mind. We also do have a small um, audio sync. It's not too bad. So Skippy not going for the backup in one castle. So I'm guessing he's gonna be going for 
um, mini wrap, because I don't think he would wait until um, 2-4, because two, two, two tower without prop is really, um, loses a decent amount of time. So, I'm guessing he, he's either going to be just grabbing the prop from the uh, Mushroom House, or he's going to be doing mini route. I guess we'll have to see. But 2-1 without prop really isn't that bad, so... He won't be losing much time there. Actually, he'll, he'll probably be saving time, actually, in 2-1, like an IGT. Because of Gamer Jump. Hazard got a very quick first hit. I guess that was a very great hit by Zord. Ooh, Skippy missing the key. So both runners are pretty, like, pretty close right now, but that will obviously change because unless Azord is going for mini route, which we do not know yet. If he is going for mini route, then they will be tied. But it's what's we'll have to see. Now in World Two, um, you know, World Two is uh, it's it's kind of boring, honestly. There's not really much to it. We got a lot of sand, which is interesting. Two Four is a uh, an interesting level, I guess you could say. Which uh, you know, it's it's a great level. Got a lot yeah, of that. most most interesting part of this world for sure. We also have Two Castle, which is just great. You know, just sitting there for about a two minutes straight, doing nothing. So Skippy bonking a little bit there. So Skippy uh, is a little bit behind now, but still not by much. But he will be um, losing um, a lot of time. Unless Azor goes to the Mushroom House as well. Anything could really happen, though, because if Azor doesn't go to the Mushroom House and then loses prop after 2-4, then he will be um, in the same predicament as Skippy. So, Azor not going to the Mushroom He is doing prop route, it would seem, and Skippy is going to the Mushroom House. So, we will see if Skippy will be getting a mini, which, um, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Will he get it? Will he get a backup might, prop? Might as well. It would, it would be probably better for him, too, at this point. Yeah, I, yeah, he probably should, but I guess we'll see. He's missing the thing a little bit. Okay, mini. Get an ice flower. Okay, he's just kind of smacking around. Get this one prop. Okay, yes, he will be getting the backup prop. Getting a nice flower too. Gets the backup, and then also gets the mini. So he got a lot of stuff there. So he will be um. Okay, he's just grabbing a lot of stuff right now. I'm not really too sure what is kind of happening right now. Looking on the map to try and find where the. <laughs> grabbing another mini. Okay, so he has a lot of stuff now for backup, you know, just in case. He's got two minis, he's got two props, and he's also got an ice flower. So, uh... And Azord is finished with 2-3. And we'll be entering 2 Castle. Or 2 Tower, sorry. Now, if, uh, if Azord loses, um, a uh, prop after, um, 2-4, he's, he's not, it's not good for him. Because Skippy has a lot of stuff for backup now, so, you know, Skippy has a lot of, in his arsenal... Skippy is stacked. It was Zord barely getting that. Yeah, the only thing, interesting thing about 2-3 is the 
um, how the level is pretty dark, um, so the star gives enough light. Hazard entering the boss fight, it's pretty simple, just like the first fights. You just kind of do that, and then it works. So pretty much the only interesting fights are like Wendy in uh, Four Castle, and also like Iggy, but... Other than that, there's not really too many interesting fights in the early uh, worlds that we will, we will not be seeing. We won't be seeing the later ones, so we'll just be seeing the boring ones in this run. Now Skippy entering um, 2 Tower. And as a word, entering 2 4, which is a, a very interesting level. Uh, yes, World 5 is the fastest route to beat the game. Uh, this route is World 1, World 2, and then World 3, and then you warp from World 3 to World 6, and then uh, World 6 to World 8. And world 6 is a, uh, let's just say it's very interesting, so when the runners get there, a lot could happen. The whole run could turn around. Problematic world for anyone. Luckily, Stick to Skip, he has a lot of stuff in his inventory if he needs it. So Azord, um... I've really been watching. I don't know if he's on pace for Fast 2-4. I don't think he is. He is, he is not. He just messed up a little bit before the halfway point. Yeah, you can get Fast 2-4 in this level, which is a the fastest cycle for the wind. But Zord not getting in, he gets the second fastest cycle. He's going to be finishing 2 times. Now Zord is going into Two Castle, which is a um, an auto scroller, so it's not very fun to watch. It's kind of just like walk, and that's it. What? And Skippy is entering Two Four. Zord is uh, entering the Walkathon. You'll be looking good for Fast U4 so far. And Skippy does get Fast U4. That gives him back a bit of time for that. Gives him those much needed seconds. Zord cutting it close with the Pranas. We also got World 3 coming up, which is also, um... Um, the Ice World. Um... It's Probably just kind of like World 2. boring world in the run. Yeah, it's just kind of like... It's just kind of like the same, you know? Same old, same old. You know, nothing really too special. Just kind of like... It's kind of like World 2, in a way. It does have a ghost house, though, which is makes it a little more interesting. But not by much. Zord finally finishing up 2 Castle. For a long wait. So this fight is actually a little bit more interesting. Uh, this fight's actually RNG-based, um, so Roy, um, there's a chance he comes out of different pipes, which can lose you time. So, yes. We will see if the Zord will get good RNG. Okay, that's one. So, is Zord getting second try, Roy, which is very good. It's not the best, obviously, but it's pretty good still.
Zor finish up the fight nicely. Now Skippy entering the fight. We'll see which what RNG he gets, if it's better or worse. Ooh, getting some interesting art. Ooh, Skippy was oh, in no. Luckily he has still one backup and also the two mini, so as long as he doesn't lose prop, um before six tower, which is kind of hard to do, um, but um, yeah, if he loses that other prop, though, it's not very good because six tower is interesting, and also yes, um, but yeah, so I don't think Skippy will be using his prop at the start of World Three because um, you can get Penguin, which is uh, slightly faster, so he might be waiting until Three Ghost House to use his prop. But we'll see. We got a Zord going through three one. He's actually going to equip the prop, which is um, surprising, but. Pretty much the only difference between 3 1 and 3 2 is um, in 3 and 3 2, there's just bullet bills and a star, and that's about it. But both the levels are pretty much the same. And they're just different, and that's just a little different. Barely there. Three two is more of just a hold right level. Pretty much, you just hold right the entire time, and then you win. Yeah, world three is not the most interesting world at all. Until luckily, you we will be getting into world six soon. That's when it will get interesting. So Zord now will be using his star to get past these ice bros. There is a chance to get um, past these ice bros without the star, but it is about a one. It's about a one in twenty chance. So normally runners don't do it because it is very risky, and it's, there's no point in losing the run twenty minutes in. And the world record is not yet that optimized. I don't think it ever will be, to be honest. But who knows? Yeah, three ghost house, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty boring as well, you know, you just kind of, yep. It is a little more interesting, though, than the other levels in World 3, you know, you got some obstacles, somewhat. Now we have an auto scroller, which is the only way to really save time here in this auto scroller is grabbing the starlight so you can exit the level quicker. This room is one of the more annoying in the run because you just have to look back and forth so that the ghosts don't get too close to you. 
Yes, it's very, very fun. As you can see, Azor's having fun going back and forth. Now he'll be grabbing the star, which the boos are um, guarding. It's going to be also entering through Ghost House. Azor also gets the star coin for swag. Oh, and he will grab the star early. He will be. I think the star may run out before he hits the flag, but I guess we'll see. But as long as he has it for a decent margin of this outside area, um, oh, never mind. That was, that was actually pretty good. Maybe playing it safe a little bit, which I don't blame him. And Azric will be making his way to World 6. Those days this is where the run gets interesting. This is where everything can happen. Anything is possible here. There's a lot of stuff to cover. Hazard entering 6 1. So 6 1 is um very interesting level. A lot of runs die here. This is probably the level that ooh, this is we're cutting it really close. This is probably the level that um all No World 5 runners do not like very much. Um probably the most hated level out of the whole run. Because there's just a lot going on, a lot you can mess up on. Zord is playing this safe, because you know, why wouldn't he? Now it's going to be also entering World 6. Uh, welcome to the stream, people from the first Speed Gaming Twitch channel. This is uh, any percent No World 5 race between Azard and Skippy. Yes, thank you for coming. Also, you, you can give, grab the star in that roulette block, but um, a lot of runners tend to not do it because it is faster, but it also is a little risky if you mess up. Then it's not good. And now Zord will be going into 6-3, which 6-3 um, is a global cycle based. So um, there is a chance that if you if you go too slow at the start of the level, you can get hit by the big piranha. So we'll see if that happens. Now it's going to be just chilling in 6-1. Hopefully not losing his propeller. But now if Azord loses his prop in either this level or the next, it will be losing him a decent margin of time. But if he does get past, um, 6 tower won't be that bad. But he will have to do 6-6 six, six either with that prop or he'll have to go back to 1-1 one, one or a mushroom house. So I guess we'll just have to see. Zord making his way through 6-3, finishing it up nicely, doing some safe strats. Ooh, Skippy. Ooh, that was very we did scary to watch. This could be a bit safer, but it does lose him quite a bit of time. That was very scary to watch. And now we have Zord going into 6th Tower, which is uh, an another cycle-based level. Um, Justin, would you like to explain the cycles of 6th Tower for us? Well, I would love to. Thanks. So the fastest cycle you can get in 6th Tower is called Erection Cycle, and the second fastest is called Soft Cycle. Yes. So... Um... I don't think Azord will be going for um, the fastest cycle, 
But, I guess we'll just have to see and find out. So, he will not be going for it. It's not worth it when he's this far ahead. Yeah, he has this big of a lead. If he loses prop now, then um, Skippy has a good chance of catching up. So, playing it safe. because Azra does not have any backup items at all. Yes, yeah, Skippy has a whole arsenal of stuff in his inventory. So, um, getting a 549, which is good for the second fastest cycle. Finishing up 6 3. This Morton fight is uh it's pretty boring. Ooh, Skippy losing oh. prop at the end of 6 3. That is very unfortunate. Now 6 Tower will be a task for him without prop. This is very bad. Doesn't he have he should have another backup? He grabbed two. Nah. He, he already used because he lost oh, prop. Right. He used the one and yeah, so Skippy doesn't have a backup here for 6 Tower, which is very will lose him a lot more time so Izord will have to skip going back to 1-1 which is a very interesting choice which is probably a good thing maybe but now Izord will be going to 6-5 which is um it has some water and it. it's pretty that's actually a pretty interesting level it has water it's got um ted um the overall enemy from world three in it world four sorry Ted does have a last name, but we will not be disclosing it on this broadcast. So now Zord makes his way through 6-5 on very good pace right now. I think he's on uh, 47 pace, right? Or is he on 46 pace? Zord may be on 46 pace. Uh, no, it probably wouldn't have been faster for Skippy to go to the Mushroom House instead of 1-1, just because the Mushroom Houses take a long time. Yes. They are, they are very slow. And also, he doesn't need the mini anymore. Okay, Azord making his way through 6-5, so if Azord gets through 6-6, six, six, um, very good, then, um, that will be very bad for Skippy. But, you know, World 8, there's a lot that could happen in World 8 still, too, so it's still got a lot to go. I don't know if Skippy will be going for the fast cycle here. I don't know if he wants to risk it. Alright, not gonna risk it. I don't blame him. Hazard entering the most the worry the most worrisome entire world. Yes, that is for sure. So so obviously with mini, um, you can just run a, you can just run across the water and then just jump out at a certain point when you see like the like a fireball um, from the fire bro. But with prop, you have to swim in a dark water level. But obviously, you know the runners have a lot of muscle memory, and once you really learn level with prop, it's not the hardest thing in the world. But obviously, mini is a lot easier because all you have to do is run across the water. Does it look like he's doing good? So even if his Zord loses prop now, he's still good. But he's still got most of the level done. The Zord um going to the bottom for some reason. To avoid the fish. Also bonking I, on the big I've never barrel. Seen that before. It might be a good idea. Azord bonking on the Donkey Kong barrel. Um so he's pretty much done with 6x now. There's there's a couple bats here though. He Oh, he will be just getting kind of jumping into the bat for some reason. But, uh, you know, he still is, uh, is good, because that's the end of 6-6. Six, six. So all he has to do now is just grab a backup in 8-1, and he's good. So he will be going into World 8 now. He's going to be entering Sort of missing the, the 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 cannon a little bit. 
Ooh, ooh, Skippy. Okay, dude. Whew. Skippy, uh, having a little bit of risky business. A little bit of risky business there. The wizard exiting the Miko Cannon, as some would call it. And going into A1, which A1 um, can be risky. Uh, there's some a little bit of RNG. Well, there is RNG with the meteors falling. It's also eight one triple, which is a precise triple jump at the end of the level. Skippy will be going mini strats for six six. Taking Skippy using there. one of sixty of his mini mushrooms in his inventory. So Skippy does still have a ice flower and a uh, another mini mushroom in his um, inventory. So he probably will be using the ice flower before eight one. So he's not mini for 8 1 because mini 8 1 is not very fun. As your TS Org getting some bad meteor RNG here. Now some for 8 1 triple. Ooh, Skippy dying! Ooh, that is not... That is very unfortunate. Azord finishing 8-1. So when Azord... does have an extra mini, though. Yeah, he does have the extra mini, which is... If he didn't have that extra mini, that'd be really, really bad. Um, But Azord, um, when he did the uh, triple jump there, he actually did triple jump over the geyser. It actually wasn't a damage boost. Which a lot of people think is a damage boost. But, uh, yeah, that's a, that's really bad for Skippy. Um, luckily, he does he did grab the extra mini, though. I don't know if he grabbed that on purpose or not, but luckily he did grab it. Now, 8-2. So, 8-2 is actually um, faster and also um, easier for most with um, Small Mario. So, that's why they use Small Mario. Although it does look um, hard, maybe, for some, it is actually pretty easy. It's, really it's not small. a very difficult level. The only hard part is the crouch boosts at the end. Yes, pretty much. Um, Skippy making it through the pipe, which is, not, which is good. Skippy dies now, that will not be good. Skippy, good. Okay, Skippy finishing 6-6. Six, six. Zord doing the safe um, star grab, which is... I don't blame him. We're cruising to race here. Mini Mario speaking. Nice. I'm fairly certain Azor is on um, 46 pace, I think, maybe. If not low 47 pace. But also Bombless as a factor, which I will be explaining here after the 8-7. So 8-7 is a... It's an auto-scroller. It's, really, it's not an auto-scroller, but it pretty much it's is an auto-scroller. Auto which, it, I mean, it can't be skit. It can't be gone through, so pretty much it is an auto-scroller. Um, we have the Sans Undertale coaster, which um, Azor will be going on. The only time save in 8-7 is optimizing getting off the bone coasters, and also... Yes, that is about it for 8-7. So he's, he'll be grabbing a mushroom. It'd be using his uh, ice flower for eight one. Skippy losing the ice flower to unfortunate RNG. Zord about halfway through eight seven. Let's 
the resort is getting on the last sand under hill coaster here. Technically not the last one. <coughs> that is the last one. Um, Skippy, you know, making his way through E2. Resort finishing E2, nice. Next, we have a uh, eight airship for Azor, which is home to Bombos, which is a trick that a lot of runners do not like. Um, Justin is very good at explaining Bombos, so Justin, if you would like to explain Bombos. All right, so the uh, the co the cart that Bowser Jr. rides in, when it moves left to right, it also moves up and down a tiny little bit, and when it's at the very bottom, you can make a ground pound in that tiny space to damage Bowser Jr. And it is a lot faster than hitting him with the bombs that he provides. That only saves 23 seconds. So thank you, Fortnite Justin, for the explanation. I mean... Yes, but Bombus is a very difficult trick to do, so... This way. There are many setups for getting certain hits, but I don't know which ones Hazard knows. So we'll see which which hits he goes for if he tries for first hit or plays it a bit more safe. If you go for first hit and miss, it's around six seconds of time loss. But if you get it, it saves around. Wait, is it six seconds? I don't know. But I, if you if you miss it though, it does um, lose a bit. I know. But uh, as we're getting some some nice skips, which are relatively easy most of the time in airship. Yeah, Bombus is a very interesting um, trick in this game. It's very cool, even though it is very difficult. It makes the game great. It makes it a great speed game. <clears throat> so we're getting a pretty good, pretty decent airship. Not the best, but I guess proper is nice. Going through eight seven casually. I'm just chilling. So I'm guessing Azord will be going for first hit, since he could possibly be on 46 base here. Oh, no, he's not going for first hit. No, he will not. That was a very close troll hit. So a troll hit is pretty much when Mario ground pounds, but you don't get the hit on Bowser Jr., which is what happens a lot. Azord getting another troll hit. So we're not getting bombless eyes, so I'm pretty sure he's not on 46 pace anymore. But I, I he may be on PB pace still. On, I, if I re if I remember correctly. Yes, so I'm pretty sure his is bare. Yes, his is on PB pace. So his is barely on PB pace here. So, he's got that going for him. So, Zord on a very good run. Skippy, you know, having some unfortunate mess-ups, but, you know, it happens. It's a race. As long as Azor just doesn't mess up a castle here, he will be um, getting a nice PB by a couple seconds. By a couple seconds, I mean like he's on he's on like two second PB pace, which is you know it's still PB. It's a race. He will well, he be messing up a little bit in the earlier parts of a castle. Though. So I think the PB might be dead now. I think he's on tied PB pace now. Which is PB is a 4713. PB cruising along through 8 airship. Having some stream troubles, but not too bad. Now we have the waiting room. 
which is what a lot of people like to call it, where pretty much you just wait for the lava, and that's all there is to it. Also, the dry bones. Um, he's very rude if you hit the thing, because he gets in your way a lot. So that's why no one hits that platform. Yes, he's also invincible. He goes in lava multiple times, it just kind of chills there. I guess he has a dry bone. So is Zord getting a 603 th a pipe, I think that is, which is uh, five, 5 IGT off of Optimal. So he is no longer on PB pace, but he's still on an insane run. So Skippy getting a nice 411 pipe. Very good. And we will see if Skippy gets bombless and see if he can get any bit of time saved back. I'm guessing he is gonna uh, gonna go for um code uh, first it. I mean he might as well. There's no reason for him not to at this point. Yes, uh, he goes for first it. He barely doesn't get it. It's a ghost hit. It's the troll hit. So we're hitting the switch. We will not be making any, any jokes about the game being over because that is not funny anymore. The joke is overused. Yes, it is. This could be not getting any luck on bombless. Getting a couple troll hits. Ooh, getting super close, but just no tr no hits, unfortunately. Skippy, no no bombless for Skippy either. Now Skippy's only did eight castle. I mean, Skippy could still win this, like. Even though it, it doesn't look Azor like he is, like, Azor could die a couple times in escape, which is, you know, not likely, but, you know, it, it could happen. Azor would have to die a couple times in escape, but, you know, so we got Fireball Manip here, which is pretty much you just manipulate Bowser's Fireballs to go into a straight line. Ooh, Azor losing prop. We're getting hit, losing his prop, thanks for the backup at the end of this whole section. Yes, there is a backup, um, right here. He will be grabbing. And now we're on to escape, which is the end. Azor is still on 47 pace, though. Still on low 47. I think this is 47 2x, maybe? Maybe? Or 46 3x. I'm guessing 46 2x, though. Yeah, 46 2x. Actually, 46 1x, maybe. Oh, he's on 46 1x pace. Nice. So Azor finishing with a 47 17, which is a very good time. Only four seconds off of his PB. Yes, so Azor winning this match. GG's to Azor for the win. Um, Skippy um, still um, started 8 1, or 8 Castle, sorry. But uh, now, um, if Azor wants to do an uh, interview, he will be in here shortly. If not, um, I think Skippy might do a interview, so we'll see. Yes, getting four seconds or three seconds off of his PB in a race is very, very good. Well, is it worth not being, unfortunately, not being able to do the interview? But still, big GG. definitely say that any percent no world five is um it's definitely a lot more interesting and a lot more tense than uh any percent is that's for sure There's a lot more to it anything is really possible also why uh, skippy is doing the uh, fireball by doing some corridor fireballs um there is also another tournament match coming up um at 10 p.m est it is Pidgey SR, or Pidgey, versus Glitchman24. Um, it should be an interesting match. I will be commentating again, um, also with Skippy. So that should be interesting. Yeah, now we got Zord, you know, he's chilling with uh, Peach. They be talking, though. Skippy entering. Skippy, Skippy hitting Bowser. Skippy is on, I think he's on, uh, 50, 50, yeah, it looks like he's on, uh, 50 pace, sub-51 pace, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's on sub-51 pace. Like mid-50 or something. Oh. 
Christ. Yeah, Skippy, uh, he's on... It's looking like... Uh, 53x pace, maybe 4x if he messes up. to escape. Yes, he's on. Barely 3x pace. Hopefully he can finish this out pretty easily. Uh, it's looking like he's on. Give him a nice 4x. Skippy finishing with a 50-43. GG's to Skippy. GG. Um, Skippy will be doing the interview, so we will be having that, and then we will be ending off this epic match. So yeah, good race. Hello, Skippy. Yo, hello, Skippy. GG. That was a very... It wasn't the closest race in the world, but it was, uh, pretty close. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. Have to lose this one. Yeah, it was pretty that close, really, though. The only, the only thing that really made me mad was the hitbox wasn't really... Dude, that hitbox in 1-6 was, I, I, like, it was such a scam. That was super stupid. Like, you literally just jumped right into it. Like, I don't know how you got hit there, but that was, yeah, that was really stupid. That's also but, a good thing that you grabbed that extra <laughs> mini in six eight, or in uh, mushroom. Uh, everything just fell apart. I was kind of tilted after the the hitbox mishap. That's like the only thing I'm mad about. The rest was my fault. Yeah, that, really that hitbox was really stupid. GG to Azard. Um, yes, it was. Um, he almost PB. Good race. Cool. Um. Yeah, a lot of just small mishaps, unfortunately, but uh. Still, pretty good race. It's one of those races that you were with. And... So, who are you versing next? Do you have someone to verse next? I don't remember who it is. Oh, uh, it's either going to be Junior or... I forgot who... I think... No, you already versed... Yeah, just Junior, so... Yes. Um... No, yeah. Hey, tell me. But, yeah. So I guess uh, that's about it. Um, if Justin has anything else to say? Or any of you guys have anything else to say? Not really, just GG's to both runners. It's a very, hey, very good match. Skippy, you got anything left to say? About this? Lesson learned, do not bop that Koopa anymore. Yes, do not jump inside of the Koopa. <laughs> but, uh, yep, that is it. That is about it for uh, me and Fortnite Justin. So we'll be ending there. Thank you for watching this. Another insane match of the 80% in the World 5 tournament. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, hope to see you guys later tonight at 10 p.m. EST for the next one, which is Pidgey versus Glitch, which should be interesting. But yes, goodbye.